Every girl, every boy, come on, open up your eyes. There's a world right here, full of wonder and surprise. Let's go and find the thimbles. Thimbles, thimbles. With my little eye, <laughs> something beginning with f. Can you guess, little one? Flower f is for flower. <laughs> my go again. I spy with my little eye something beginning with r. <laughs> rock r is for rock. <laughs> Shall I take your go for you, little one? Okay then, this time I'll spy something big. <laughs> I spy with my little eye something beginning with t. I'll give you a clue. It's big, it's got branches and it tinkles. <laughs> tinkling tree, that's right little one. T is for tinkling tree. <laughs> oh. I spy with my little eye something else beginning with f. f is for thimbling feeling. I can feel a twinkling. I can hear a sound. It's telling me there's something waiting to be found. Where is it? Where is it? What could it be? I think it might be over there. Let's go and see. Is it? Is it a flower? <laughs> no. Maybe it's a bouncy ball. Ooh, not very bouncy. There's nothing inside. Ah, maybe it's a glove. I'll try it on. <laughs> it's like an elephant's trunk. I'm an elephant. Swish, swish, swish. I'm an elephant walking through the jungle, swinging his trunk. Swish, swish, swish. An elephant goes like this and that. Terribly big and he's terribly fat. He has no fingers, he has no toes, but goodness gracious, what a nose! Swish, swish, swish! Swish, swish, swish! What's that noise? I'm an Elephant! Bing, bing. An elephant? Swish, swish, swish! Oh, there's, there's a big elephant in the purple meadow with a huge trunk! <laughs> I spy with my little eye something beginning with a. Ha! Huh. Apple! <laughs> no! Ha! Huh. It's got a heart at the beginning. Um, folly! <laughs> I'll give you a clue. It's at the end of my arm, 
Uh-huh. And it's got wiggly fingers on it. <gasps> fingers! <laughs> Nearly. It's my hand. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Hand. Huh is for hand. Well done, Pom. Well done, Pom. <laughs> Flurry, Pom, quick. <laughs> Come quickly! Oh, what's the matter? There's a big meadow in the purple elephant. Oh, what? Uh, I mean, uh, there's a big purple in the mellow elephant. A big purple? No, I mean, um, uh... Oh, uh... Rocket, say the word slowly. Speak slowly. Boom. Slowly. <laughs> slowly. Like this. There's a big... <laughs> Not that slowly. I can't understand what you're saying. <sighs> there is a big elephant in the purple meadow. Well, why didn't you say so before, silly? Come on, Pom. I'm coming. <laughs> Hippo. Oh, oh, Rocket. <laughs> Sorry. Rocket, I can't see any elephants. No, it's lollipunts. Shh, listen. Swish, swish, swish. <laughs> That's it. That's the elephant swishing his long red trunk from side to side. I'm a great big elephant. <gasps> Swish, swish, swish. Uh, it's getting closer. What shall we do? Uh, say hello. Say hello to an elephant. Yes, hello. Yes, let's say hello. Swish, swish, swish. Here it comes. After three. Ready? <laughs> One, two, three. <laughs> Oh, it's, it's you. you. Oh, yes, so it is. <laughs> oh, Fimbo, we thought you were... No, Rocket thought you were an elephant. An elephant. <laughs> <laughs> I was pretending to be an elephant using this for a trunk. <sighs> what is it? Oh, it's a Wellington, isn't it? Oh, hello, hello Bessie. Bessie. A, a Wellington? Yes, it's a Wellington boot. Sometimes you can call it a welly. Hello, welly. On a rainy day, wellies can be very useful. Oh, look, she's got red wellies like mine. And she's got pink ones. <laughs> you can go out when it's really wet and your wellies should keep your feet dry. <laughs> They're jumping in the puddles. Splish, splash, splish, splash. Splash, splash. Look at all the water. They're having fun, aren't they? <laughs> and inside those wellies, her feet are as dry as dry can be. <laughs> we hope. <laughs> Can I have a go, Thimbo? Of course you can. I'll just take it off first. Oh. <laughs> um, no, no. It's stuck! No, no, it just needs a good pull. Oh, that's <laughs> uh, It's not funny. I can't get it off. Give it a good shake, Thimbo. Oh, OK. Uh, 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 oh. Thank you, Pom. <gasps> um, that's the wrong hand, Pom. <laughs> oh, Daisy. Pom, try again. <gasps> oh, it is stuck. Stuck, stuck, stuck. Well, what shall I do? <laughs> it's OK. I know exactly what you have to do, Fimbo. Oh, good. You have to stop eating. What? 
No more apples and no more crackers. No more. Until you get thinner, and then when your hand gets really thin, the welly will just drop off. Drop off? Boom. Good idea, Rocket. It's not a good idea. I love apples and crackers, and if I can't eat apples and crackers, then, then I'd rather not use my hands at all. That's it. I just won't use my hands ever again. There. They've gone. <laughs> oh, but Fimbo, you need your hands. No, no, I don't. But think of all the things you use your hands for. Uh, like waving. Hello, Pom. <laughs> hello, Fi. Hello, Rocket. Oh, hello, Flurry. <laughs> <laughs> See? Uh, what else do we use our hands for? Oh, uh, cap, cap, cap. That's right, Pom. Clapping! Oh, don't forget counting, Flory. We count with our hands. That's right. One, two, three. One, One two, two, three. three. <laughs> Fimbo, you need your hands for everything. As you do, Fimbo. I use my hands for doing handstands. Watch this. This is my best handstand. <laughs> <Ta -da! laughs> oh, and I use my hands too to open books with. Hello, Rolly. Rolly, I found a welly. Ooh, a welly, eh? Yes, but now it's stuck. Stuck? Hmm, stuck. You know, that reminds me of a story about something else that was stuck. Was it a welly? Oh, no. Oh. It was a turnip. Now, where did I put it? <laughs> Back in a roly mo. <laughs> when you take a look inside a book, who knows what you will see? When you take a look, Inside a book, it's fun as fun can be. With cats and dogs and birds and frogs, a monkey who says boo, boo, wonderful things, giants and kings, and maybe a fimble or two. Oh, now what have we here? When you take a look inside a book, who knows what you might see? A story or rhyme, just take the time to read along with me. Ah, found it! Dory, Dory! <laughs> Are you all sitting comfortably? Yes. Then I'll begin. The story is called The Enormous Turnip. <laughs> <laughs> Once upon a time, a little old man and a little old woman lived in a little house with an enormous garden. One day, they were planting some seeds when a friendly robin flew down to see what they were doing. Now leave those seeds alone, robin, said the old man. They're turnip seeds, and I just love turnips. White, round, juicy turnips. The sun shone, the rain rained, and one by one the seeds grew. Stems grew up, tall and straight, with shiny green leaves, and silently, in the ground, the turnips were growing rounder and bigger. I think it's time to pull up our turnips, said the old man. Oh, good, said the old woman. Then I can make some delicious turnip soup. It was a lovely, sunny day, and the friendly robin pecked at the biggest turnip top. 
Now leave that alone, Robin, said the old man. It's too big for you. So the old man and the old woman pulled at the biggest turnip top. They pulled and tugged, but the turnip would not come out of the ground. Their neighbour, Farmer Straw, was passing by. You look as if you could do with some help, he said. So the farmer pulled, the old woman pulled, and the old man pulled, but it was no good. This turnip is really huge, said the old man. We need more help. The farmer whistled to his dog and his sheep. Then the dog pulled, the sheep pulled, the farmer pulled, the old woman pulled, and the old man pulled. It's no good, said the old man. Where can we get more help? Suddenly they heard a... And the friendly robin flew down and tugged at the dog's tail. So the robin pulled, the dog pulled, the sheep pulled, the farmer pulled, the old woman pulled, and the old man pulled, and out came the enormous turnip. None of them had ever seen a turnip so big. The little old woman made a huge pot of soup, and there was still some turnip left over for the friendly robin. That's it! We can all pull the welly off, just like in the story! Yes! Uh, Rolly, will you help? Of course! Uh, Bessie, will you shout pull? I'd love to, ducks! Well, come on, everyone, line up! Come on, come on! Flory, will you pull the welly? OK! Pom, helping too! <laughs> Pom, you pull Flory! Rolly, you pull Pom! Oh, righty-ho! And Rocket, you pull Rolly. <laughs> ready, everybody? Ready. That's <laughs> ready. One, two, three, pull. Oh, it's working. Ooh, yes, 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 yes. And again, pull. <laughs> Nearly. One more time should do it. Ready? One, two, three, pull. <laughs> What's she doing now? Oh, good idea, Pom. <laughs> Ready, little one? Now, come on, lovers. Give it your all. Ready? Ready. Ready. <laughs> one, two, three, pull! Oh, yes, it's <laughs> off! Oh, hello, and I missed you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Thumbo, could you help us, please? I'm stuck. Oh, yes. Now that the welly's off, I can give you... A hand! <laughs> oh, well, my little chickadee, the thimbles had a busy day today. Who found the Wellington? <laughs> yes, it was Fimble, that's right. He put it on his hand and he pretended it was an elephant's trunk. <laughs> but when Rocket saw him, he thought there was a real elephant, didn't he? And he told everybody else and they all jumped out to say hello to a real elephant. But it were only Fimble. <laughs> When Fimbo tried to take the welly off, it was stuck, wasn't it? He tried pulling and he tried shaking it, but it just wouldn't come off. In the end, <laughs> they all pulled together and thankfully the welly did come off. <laughs> Fimbo was very glad to have his hand back. <laughs> what do you like doing with your hands? Painting and clapping? Come and find us again next time, won't you? Now, I must fly. Bye!